Parliament in general is no stranger to real-life drama, but this budding panto dame has been upstaged by his unsightly elbow. Oh, no, he hasn't. Oh, yes, he has. Etc. Well, we're part of the St Albany uh, charity players, and the panto this year in January is um, Robinson Crusoe. Yeah, and I'm Dame Primrose Perkins. She's a lady. Burly Rufus Stephen was doing his bit for charity by taking part in a fundraising panto. Hello. Cast as the dame, he was due to rehearse his dramatic entrance. The plan was to enter stage left, perform a forward role, and present himself and his bloomers to the audience. But Stephen's somersault went a bit squiffy. He careered into a cast member and bashed his arm. And despite being dressed as a woman with his bloomers on show, it was his enormous elbow that caused the most disturbing image of the night. Village number one actually knocked me over and uh, I threatened to sue him, but considering he's only 11, I think I might give that one a miss. <laughs> But I do hope that it goes down before the actual production starts. The enormous elbow has caught the eye of A&E's very own leading lady, nurse practitioner Maria Catlin. Does it actually hurt you up here? No. You've got no pain there at all? No. What you've got is bursitis. In your elbow, you've got a smaller collection of fluid. And what happens is that when you knock it, it will increase in size with fluid. And the bursitis itself, which it, you've got, it's quite impressive. Normally they'll come up, they'll come up quite slowly. So our roofer who's moonlighting as a panto dame is suffering from a condition called bursitis. But an X-ray is required to determine if this heinous hump is hiding a more serious fracture underneath. Basically, over your pointed part of your elbow, you've got a little padded area. When you fall, or have any direct trauma to it, basically it will fill with lots of fluid. Luckily, Mr Hughes didn't have an underlying fracture, but um, he won't be roofing for, a, well, for a few days anyway. So although the elbow requires a few days rest, it's good news for Stephen and even better news for Northampton's buzzing amateur dramatics scene. There's no fracture and the supersized swelling will gradually subside by itself. The best thing to do is rest your elbow, Take some anti-inflammatories, put some ice packs on it. You haven't fractured anything, you haven't got any little tiny avulsions or anything So like there's that. no chips to the bone in any way? No, none whatsoever. It's oh, just excellent. unfortunate that um, you've got a, a wonderful bursitis. I must admit, it's the biggest one I've ever seen. Well, thank you very much. Maria, we applaud you. So with Stephen's gigantic growth put in a sling, this dame can concentrate on learning his lines once again.